Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another Assassin's Creed Mega Box review. And today we're looking at Chariot Chase, which is set number CNG12. It has 315 pieces and retails for around 25 to 30 pounds. So as you can see, this is another Assassin's Creed 2 slash Brotherhood related set. It um, features Ezio in his nice white outfit and a Borgia soldier. Uh, behind them you can see that you have the chariot in question, although it's more of a carriage to be fair, um, with two articulated horses here, a little turret on the back, along with some additional accessories here and here. So to break it down, these are missiles for the turret to uh, replenish its uh, after it's fired one shot. Uh, you also get a sword here, a piece of Eden, and a her piece that can be used on Ezio here, which we will go into detail in a second. So taking a closer look at the uh, Ezio figure in the set, as you can see, it reuses a lot of pre-existing parts. Um, if we compare it to the Da Vinci's uh, glider. Uh, Ezio. It is a lot brighter in terms of colour, it's pure white, which I really, really like. I really like how this one stands out. So this one uses the boots from the um, Borgia Guard weapons pack that I reviewed a few weeks ago. Then it includes the typical white uh, Assassin's Creed skirt section with the uh, red stripes. You get the red sash, you get some nice painted metal work here and on his hands. You get the removable blades which can come off. And uh, if you've noticed, he has a beard this time, so this is the more mature Ezio. Um, and his hood can be removed, and you can place the included her piece on it, and have him as a unhooded variant. What makes this assassin stand out, though, is the fact that he comes with a red soft goods cape. Now, this cloak is what he uses to hide his hidden blade on his uh, left arm when he's uh, trying to blend in. Um, and it's just a really nice piece. I didn't see that that cape was going to be included. I was really pleasantly surprised when that I found that, and I'm really happy. It's such a great addition, and it really adds to Ezio's character. So taking a closer look at the Borgia Guard, uh, as you can see it's one of the uh, pre-existing designs we've already had, except this one has some nice gold trim on his wrists and then some additional nice silver paintwork on his vest section. Uh, yes we have had this figure before but it's nice to have build the guys, especially when you consider that the assassins are always outnumbered, so it just lets everyone have a chance to build up an army. But you've got some nice features like the removable hat and the vest, similar to Ezio and all the Assassin's Creed figures, they're all on the same base body. So so high posability, great features in terms of removable clothing, brilliant. And the spiced, spiked mace is absolutely brilliant as well. Great little unique weapon. Don't see it too often, it's usually the sword, so it's a nice little addition. Now in addition to the two figures, we get this nice sil silver sword. As you notice, the uh, hilt is painted in a nice black slash dark steel colour. Uh, this is probably intended for Ezio, but it can be used by either. But it's great because this is the first time we've seen a painted sword in the line. So it's absolutely fantastic to see this already. As an added bonus, this little tiny piece, which is actually a recalled plasma grenade from the Halo line, uh, is a piece of Eden in its glowing form. It's a really nice piece, and it fits in the character's hands, you know, it is a plasma grenade at the end of the day. But, you know, reusing that part re works really well. Um, it, you know, the alien glyphs on the side of it as it is, it really matched the piece of Eden because that has it too. So I'm really glad they included this piece. Again, another bonus piece I didn't really see coming, so I'm happy that they've included this. So, moving on to the carriage itself, as you can see, it's a really nice, highly detailed piece. You get two poseable horses that plug in at the front. You get a nice rolling ability here. These are attached by both this rein section, which is just a bit of string, and a T-bar piece in between that connects them to it. Uh, the horses do unplug from it, and they can be... Uh, ridden elsewhere you know you can put a figure on it separately uh i think they're doing a harness for one of these in the hayfam kenway set that's upcoming so stay tuned for that to be reviewed um but along that you've got some nice printed gold trim on the sides of this piece uh, a cool action feature which flips out these little hidden swords you just push that switch and they flip out Absolutely fantastic. You have this rotating turret. It doesn't rotate too much because it gets blocked by the walls of the carriage, but still, I'll take it. You've got a nice kind of, I guess, like a pump for the figure to use, and then the missile just sits in. It is just a flick missile. It doesn't spring load, fire or anything. It just pulls out that hole, so you're just meant to push it out. 
and you get three of these rockets as I mentioned earlier. Uh, they just sit there or you can plug them in like I said. It is easy to lose because like I say it just sits in so as soon as you tilt the vehicle it like can fall out. Uh, another great little feature here on the back is the little flip down uh, platform so you can gain quicker access to the uh, rear. So yeah, absolutely fantastic carriage and in a sense is our first like, Assassin's Creed ground vehicle. You know, we've had the aircraft, we've had the um, boat, so now we're getting a carriage, which is absolutely fantastic. Really good, good idea, uh, and it works well with the figures, because you can have them sat up here, uh, fighting, or whatever you want. It's a really good addition, really happy they made it, highly detailed, and it's a really nice display piece. So overall, you get a great looking piece, great for combat situations, as you can see there, they're all posed up fighting. You get two great horses, which can be used for this carriage, or it can be used for any other purpose you want. If you want characters riding them freely, you can. Such a great set, very versatile set, really good value for money, and highly recommended. You get a really brilliant Ezio, you get a really highly detailed guard. Really good set. I'm really happy with it. It's probably one of my favourite Assassin's Creed sets they've done so far. Uh, I hope they do more like this because they will be really, really well received, I imagine. So, that's it for this review. Uh, don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. We will be reviewing more Assassin's Creed, Halo and Call of Duty sets in the coming weeks. So, stay tuned for those. Um, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!